I would like to talk to you all about the grandest and the greatest ayah in the Noble Quran. Our Maker, the Almighty, He states in Surah Al-Baqarah, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يؤوده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم سبحان الله what a powerful ayah. And you know, interestingly, there is an authentic narration that has been reported to us. And this particular narration has been reported by Abu Huraira radiallahu anh. And the narration goes along the lines of these words that once some wealth had come in that needed to be distributed uh, in charity. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he puts Abu Huraira radiallahu anh in charge of this wealth. Now what happens, night falls, Abu Huraira radiallahu anh, who is in charge of this wealth, uh, you know, there must have been a lot of things. He was looking after these things. And then suddenly he notices a man pilfering away from the wealth. He runs up to him and he catches him and he tells him, I am going to produce you in front of the Prophet ﷺ because you are stealing. Now the man, he starts, you know, giving out all kinds of pitiful stories. He puts up a big drama. So, you know, I'm so poor, I have kids to feed and it's dire poverty that drove me to do, to do this, please. Uh, let me go, I will not do this again. So Abu Hurairah who was a soft-hearted individual, he feels sorry for the man and he lets him go. Now morning comes, Abu Hurairah he meets the Prophet Rasulullah he asks him, Ya Abu Hurairah, what happened to your prisoner last night? Now Abu Hurairah was baffled. How did the Prophet know about this encounter? Now obviously Allah Subhanahu wa Taala had informed the Prophet about this encounter. And then Abu Hurairah who he mentions the entire story to the Prophet Rasulullah then tells him, Ya Abu Hurairah, he's going to come tonight as well. Subhanallah. Now Abu Hurairah is intrigued. And not only that, he's extremely alert. Night falls, he catches the man again. And this time he tells him, you know what, I'm producing you the Prophet Once again, once again, the man starts, you know, all his pitiful stories. And he says, he, he weeps, he laments, and he tells him, please let me go, please let me go. Until finally, Abu Hurairah feels sorry for the man and he lets him go. Morning comes, the Prophet asks him the same question again. Ya Abu Hurairah, what happened to your prisoner last night? And then Abu Hurairah who he narrates whatever happened the night before. And then the Prophet tells him, Ya Abu Hurairah, he will come tonight as well. Now the third night, Abu Hurairah who is determined, come what may, I'm not letting this man go. He catches the man, he tells him, Ya Rajul, I'm not letting you go. I'm producing you in front of the Prophet whatever you say. Now the man, he knows that Abu Hurairah who is determined not to let him go. So he tells him, Ya Abu Hurairah, what if I were to teach you something, something worthwhile, will you let me go? Now Abu Hurairah who was anyway a very keen student of knowledge was intrigued. This piqued his curiosity. What is this man at this juncture going to teach me? He tells him, okay, fine, if it's worthwhile. And then the man teaches him. If you read Ayatul Kursi before you go to bed at night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appoints a protector over you and no devil, no shaitan can get close to you. Subhanallah. Now Abu Hurair radiallahu anhu, he lets the man go. Next day morning he informs the Prophet sallallahu about this entire ordeal, this entire encounter. And you know what the Prophet sallallahu says? He says, Ya Abu Hurair, that man is generally a liar. He's generally a liar. He never speaks the truth, but this time he has spoken the truth. And then he goes on to inform him that he was none other than Shaitan himself. Allahu Akbar. Shaitan in the guise of a human being. And it was from the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he should teach 
such a powerful thing. And now see, we're not believing the words of shaitan here. The Prophet Sallallahu acknowledges what shaitan said. Therefore, it is true. And it is a powerful form of protection. You read Ayatul Kursi before going to sleep, Allah appoints a protector over you and no devil, no shaitan can think of even getting close to you. Allah such a powerful ayah after every single prayer make it part of your adhkar obviously it is from the adhkar sabahi wal masa the the adhkar that you read in the morning and in the evening where you read ayatul kursi it is you know like you donning armor to protect yourself from the attacks of the devil it offers this aura of protection around you you are protected by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala therefore my dear brothers and sisters in islam you must take hold of this ayah. Study about the ayah. You know, go, go into the tafsir of the ayah. You're going to be blown away by the might and the power of this ayah. Talks about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And likewise, make sure that you read this ayah often. Whenever you feel scared, whenever there is fear involved, read this ayah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with you.